thanks to German Knife Shop for sponsoring Everyday Tactical Vids. German-Knife-Shop.com Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Another gray, rainy New Hampshire day, which for me is great because today we're gonna to be talking about some waterproof boots that I've been wearing. They're from a new company I've never worked with before, but their name is Hisea, or Hisea, H-I-S-E-A. And uh, these boots are gonna run you right around the $50 mark. So uh, they are going to be a very similar style to like a muck boot, but depending on what style of boot you buy from muck um, and what size and such, uh, you're gonna pay sometimes you know 20 or 30 dollars more up to two or three times the price so this is definitely more budget friendly these are around 50 55 dollars so they're not like dirt cheap um, but they have been a good boot for me so far and i want to talk about some of the things you should be aware of when you actually check out these boots this is gonna be a little bit interesting because i got the boot off which obviously means i have nothing on my foot right now but um, let me give you a quick look at the boot up close so basically, like a lot of these boots, um, you've got neoprene up top and then rubber on the bottom. A couple of things that I do like about these boots right off the bat. So on a, a pair of uh, muck boots that I have, um, basically the sole right here is, I, I don't know if it's completely separate and then added on, but the um, w where it is basically connected, because when you take your boot, boots off, often what people do is they put, you know, if this is my... This is my left foot here. I take my right foot and I put the toe of my right foot here as I pull the boots off. On my muck boots, that little section is starting to peel off. This looks to me like it's one piece of rubber all put together, um, but already I can tell you that it looks more durable and feels more durable than my muck boots. I do like the muck boots, but that's, that's a problem when that section starts obviously um, peel off. You can see how high the, um, the rubber goes. These are almost about 17 inches tall total from the bottom up to the top. Second thing I could tell you is that the um, the traction on this is more aggressive than the muck boots I have. The muck boots I have are like kind of a real tree camel um, look and they're snake proof. They were the ones they wanted me to test out so I, I took them. We don't have any poisonous snakes hanging out in my town here in, uh, in uh, New Hampshire. But nonetheless, um, the, uh, the traction on this is better than the muck boots that I've had. Um, I got mine in a size 12, and so um, normally I, I wear like 11, 11 and a half, 12 for a shoe. I got these a little bit big. I will tell you that I got them big because I thought oftentimes if you're getting uh, boots from overseas, the size is same, you know, if you get like an extra large in a shirt, it feels like a large. So I got these in a 12, and they actually are probably a little bit bigger than a 12 in my estimation. So I wouldn't have gotten an 11, I probably would have gotten 11 and a half. Um, but they are they are comfortable. These are the type of um, boots that I'm gonna wear You know if I'm taking a short hike to a spot to go fishing or I'm hiking out into the woods a little bit And I'm gonna just hang out and chill out in my hammock or you know shoot some videos, whatever None of these boots that I've ever worn of this general style are boots I'm gonna wear hiking for five miles into the woods. Um, I just don't find them as comfortable as like a full lace-up boot They're, def they're definitely great to put on quickly um, but I just don't, I wouldn't use them as a boot I'm gonna hike any time, any type of distance in. And I would say the same thing is true for this as well. What I can tell you, um, a couple things to be aware of is that this part of the boot right here, um, maybe on some other, cut with some other companies, this will be a little bit lower. And so it'll kind of be more snug to your foot. I can tell you that between like the top of my foot and this, there's a little bit of space. And so when you walk, these can kind of smush over a little bit. Not a ton, but just something to be um, aware of. And then they are spacious on the top and then spacious on the sides. I didn't get mine in a wide, um, but I thought, you know, if I wear a, at least a little bit of a thicker sock than just like a standard athletic sock, then um, these would be a good, a good fit. They are a little bit bigger than I expected, but nonetheless comfortable. Um, I have gotten these up to the neoprene. They're, they're sealed well, haven't had water, you know, seep into these. Uh, one of the things, as the rain comes down more and more here, one of the things that you'll see in New Hampshire is that because there's a lot of beaver activity, um, there's a lot of like scrap wood, you know, that they've eaten um, or, you know, chewed the bark off of on the edges of ponds or rivers. So when you step in there, you step in and then you sink down pretty quickly because you kind of break through that stuff. So you got to be careful. Um, but pretty quickly you get up higher on a boot. And I was actually walking around today with these on and no issues whatsoever. Show you inside real quick. I mean, you can't see a whole lot, but it is neoprene inside. You do have the little pull tab. Um, a little bit interesting that the pull tab runs inside as opposed to basically coming up and being stitched on the outside. 
but you pull them on, you try to, you pull them on, and you can just basically tuck that down in. They haven't bothered me. They haven't made me uncomfortable at all as I've, uh, as I've worn them. So when I'm looking for a pair of boots, you know, it's about price, it's about functionality, and it's about comfort. That's a big thing. Um, I haven't ever gotten a pair of these style of boots from any company that have been particularly uncomfortable. I would tell you that these feel a bit more spacious and just kind of for, you know, wandering around in the yard or doing stuff out in the woods for a short distance if I'm traveling, these, these have worked great. So um, really, you know, the question to think through is how much money can you and do you want to invest? And it's hard for me to call these like budget friendly because they're around 50 bucks, but I would say they're budget friendlier than some of the other high end, uh, high end boots if you want this like neoprene and rubber boot combination. So I haven't had these boots for like six months or anything, but in the amount of time I've worn them and what I've done in the outdoors, um, they've worked well. So I'm going to report in and let you know, you know, in the future about longer term use um, and tell you if I've had any issues or what I like or don't like about them. But so far, a more budget friendly version of some of those high end boots and they've um, and they've worked well. So you'll probably see more of these in the spring and summer as this year goes on. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'll report in both on YouTube and then also on other social media. Every once in a while I'll just put a post out there and say, hey, um, follow up with this item, it worked great, or follow up with this item, here are some challenges. So links down below in the description section and if you use Amazon to purchase these uh, with the links I put up there, you're gonna help to support the Everyday Tactical Vids channel. So thanks in advance for that. On that note, I'd be interested to hear from you guys. What are the boots that you wear um, outside? If you wear lace-up boots, let's hear about those. If you wear boots like these, I'd like to hear what you wear, how much you spent, and what you like about them or what you would change. So let's get that conversation started in the comment section. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.